smartlocal.com Hi! Can you tell me about your first full-time job? Mm, it's totally not like the one I have at eBook now. It's like back-end ops at a bank. So it was a bit more desk-bound than what I preferred. <laughs> yeah, I don't, there's nothing much to say because my first full-time job is the job that I'm currently having, which is my job here at TSL. Ah. I was at Togo, which is now called WeWatch. I was previously a content programming executive. So my first job, I was actually an events executive with a small events agency here in Singapore. My first job, I'm a receptionist plus admin in a oil field company. I think two years ago, I worked with my father's company. He does mainly warehouse and commercial space uh, renovation. So I worked there as an interior design. So my first job, was a chemical technician because I don't know if you guys know this but I studied chemical engineering from poly and in uni and I tried to pursue that lah. So I got my first full-time job when I was 21 years old and I was doing business development. My job scope involves a lot of things because it's a startup and I had to do business management, sales and operations, marketing, customer service and even be an office pantry auntie. I think because I graduated with a degree in theatre, right, it was a little bit challenging, especially when it came to finding jobs that may not necessarily be related to your degree. Lah. I'm of the firm believer, right, that your degree doesn't necessarily dictate what kind of field you have to go into. Back then, there wasn't things like government website or some job website. Internet was like your 256 model. <laughs> So, it's so hard to look for a job. What I did was, you know, probably look through newspaper. You know, straight time at the back of the page, right? There's full of jobs, like, from any industry that you're looking for. The first issue that I faced was something that most people would relate to. That you send your resume to a lot of different companies and none of them bother to reply you or they take about, I don't know, months and months to reply. I actually had one company reply me about seven months after I started my first full-time job. Then they were like, hi, do you still want this job? I'm like, bye, I already started my first job. My diploma was so generic that I didn't know where exactly to look for and what exactly to look for. Yeah, I just followed my friend. Eh. Yeah, I just followed. <laughs> oh my gosh, my life, my career is all thanks to my friends. Eh. But I think now there's a lot of varieties, like there's full-time, part-time, internship, traineeship, all the shifts. Um, basically, it was a dinner and dance. There was one game in particular, we get the participants on stage and it was a drinking game. There was this particular individual on stage. You could tell by their face that they were feeling a bit not well, queasy a little bit. And out of a sudden nowhere, this guy just hurled. I just saw everything in slow motion because me and the MC were right in front of the guy. We weren't very near to the point that we would get, you know, all over, but I didn't know what to do. Me and the MC basically just froze and looked at each other like, Okay, so I had an interview with a movie industry. It's a big company. It's like, big company. Okay. Me being very stupid, right? I got no experience um, going for interviews. The boss, well, he was very nice. He asked me, uh, what is your main goal after you uh, get this job? I said, I hope that one day when I go and buy stuff, I don't need to look at the price tag. I say, right? It's like people ask you what's your goal. Then you say this kind of stupid, air-headed things. I was like, ah! I have extreme fear of heights. Obviously, I started off as an intern, so I had to do um, the intern report after the six months. Months. But my supervisor was like, okay, so we need to go up. And then I lied. I basically said, oh, I have to write a report. <laughs> and then it carried on because every time he asked me, right, um, we need to go out later after lunch. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, um, but I need to do a report. Like. You see the other people also do a report. <laughs> okay, so you like never climbed all the way up? Never. You know, I once, once. <laughs> I, I climbed once. My supervisor was like, look at the view. Right, I'm like, there's no view. It's wrong <laughs> island and there's nothing. <laughs> I think personally would have cast my my net a bit wider, uh, be a little bit more open to different opportunities in different industries. Yeah, and all these traineeships, all these very useful, you know. I wish I had that, you know, because I, I talk to a lot of like our interns, our ex-interns, uh, who are just freshly graduating and they're applying for traineeships as well after their internship. And I think it's a very good opportunity for them to try things out lah and get them to get a taster of a full-time job. I might have considered part-time studies if I really know what kind of courses 
they are out there. I realized after talking to one of my good friends, basically she told me about SG United traineeships. It's like just nice for you to really experience the industry that you want to be in. If you are a fresh graduate, go online and look for different tools that might help you. Uh, don't just blindly look for a job because there are a lot of tools out there that can help you to navigate what's the best job for you. I feel like it's very normal for us to feel lost when we are transiting into the next stage of life which is to look for a full-time job. Be open-minded to try new stuff and to accept if a job scope isn't really what you had in mind. If you're passionate about something, go for it. Don't let your parents or older siblings or whoever, uncle, auntie tell you, hey, you study econs, right? You can be someone bigger. You'll end up being miserable. <laughs> Don't be like me, you know, I listen to my sister take econs and then I regret. Huh? <laughs> If you really don't know what you want, I think the most important thing is uh, try to look for a job that you would like to do during your free time, that kind. Uh, so for me, I like to take photographs during my free time. Uh, so that's why it turned out to be my job now. <laughs> don't be idle, that's the worst eh. I think as a fresh guy, you think like, I cannot find a good job, then they just be idle, right? Wow, that one is really rubber. Don't, don't. Ah. I feel that when you are choosing your first job, you should really think about what you want to do and what you love to do. At the end of the day, it's your passion that pushes you through the toughest times in your job. If you have just graduated from ITE, Polytechnic or University, you can check out the link in the description box below for more information about the SG United Traineeships Program where you can gain work experience and have a head start to your career. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Tell me about it. If you enjoyed this video, you can like, share and subscribe, ring the notification bell and watch our other videos over there. Bye! Now back to work. Ha ha ha!